The Serve America Mud Run drew runners from all over to gather at Camp James, ready and set to run in mud, mud, and more mud. Some came to race alone, others in teams, some dressed in running gear, others in funny costumes. Most duct taped their shoes to make sure they didn't lose them in the mud pits, and all of them had a good time. Jay, you were the first one to finish. What does that feel like? Feels good. It was, a, it was a fun day. It's for a good cause, and they definitely did a good job of setting up the course. Thousands came out this morning ready to get covered in mud. Some of them did it simply for fun, but the driving force behind it all is to support our troops. This run was put together from a, a friend of mine who said, Beverly, I'd like to do something to raise money for wounded warriors. And so what we decided is we'd put together a program that would raise not only just wounded warrior programs, but all of the programs that go in and help anyone who's injured or wounded in the military services. I think what happens a lot is people don't understand the impact on when soldiers leave, Marines and whomever, they leave the country, they go overseas, and then all of a sudden the wife is left behind, she's got to still run a family, uh, dad or mom, whoever the service member is, is off helping keep us free, and while they're gone, the family still needs to go on. Thanks to the appeal of swimming through a mud pit, good vendor food, and live entertainment, these kinds of events are not only fun, but a fundraising success. We just want to come out, have a good time. Uh, me and my friend, Alice Karkowski, we're both, mar both Marines. We're just out here having some fun, doing some community service. Both young and old runners, covered in mud or not, sent the same message to our servicemen and women. Thank you. I guess just paying my dues for the veterans and showing them how much we appreciate everything they do for us. It just lets us know that uh, we're supported in what we do and that we're uh, not left alone, you know, not forgotten. For Irvine News, I'm Claudia Resti.